The Metris Camperman is a really interesting story from Peace Fans. It started almost six years ago as a leader in the Volkswagen camper van industry. We were asked over and over and over, like, where is a modern version of this van? Like, why did Volkswagen stop making it? Uh, we really want a small footprint camper van like the Volkswagen. We can't get it. And so we actually took it upon ourselves to fly over to Europe where they make countless small footprint camper vans and to research how to get it done. And it really started as a passion project of Peace Fans. We felt, what, what is the phrase? Um, if not us, who? Um, and so we really stepped into a, a really unknown field of how to create a modern version of the vintage Volkswagen camper van. So when we were building the first versions of these pretty incredible Metris camper vans, we rooted ourselves in the classic Volkswagen world. That design and that aesthetic and that package of functionality is so well developed. I can't tell you the number of times where I've gotten in my old Volkswagen and I've been like just looking for something or moving in the space and it just works. It is so well thought out, it is so well refined. So that's really where we rooted the design uh, theory and methodology. You know, take the best of that world and that really well thought out design and use of small space and bring that into the modern world with modern technology, modern finishes, and modern manufacturing processes. One of the most frustrating things we're faced with right now is the long delays to get a van. Now, if you contextualize it and you think about uh, you know, the RV industry and what's going on, actually the wait to get a van from us isn't actually that long. We're telling people right now somewhere between six and 12 months. And the fact of the matter is it just takes a long time to get the vans and to build the vans and to meet the quality bar that we have. And we wish we could build for inventory and we could hold that and you could just pull from inventory. But at the end of the day, we're building a van for you and we're taking our time doing it and putting an incredible amount of thought and care into it. We're incredibly proud of what we've built. There's a thousand, not a thousand, there is, several scores of points in time where we could have made different design decisions to either lower the cost, um, maybe speed things up, uh, and we chose not to. You know, we chose the finest materials we could find. Uh, we chose the best manufacturing processes, uh, you know, the best finishes, you know, everything from the wire looms we use to run behind the cabinet to the finishings on the cabinet are the highest quality. And one story that I love is, um, you know, we have a customer who, very high-end cabinet maker, his team actually participated in building all the furniture and finishings for the new Fry Art Museum here in uh, the University of Washington. And when he saw our cabinets and how we built them, he was like, wow, that is museum quality stuff. Now, we don't want you to treat your camper van like it's a museum piece and never use it but you can rest assured that this thing is going to stand the test of time. It's gonna withstand whatever you throw at it and it's not gonna feel cheap. It's not gonna make weird noises. It's not gonna deteriorate over time. We, we feel like when we get into the vintage Volkswagen camper vans, it's not unusual to see something that is 40 years old and it still works, looks great and is held together. We're confident that our products are gonna similarly stand the test of time. So this is a interesting design decision. Like we could have easily, um, you know, bought these pre-felted or, um, you know, a variety of different approaches. Uh, but we chose to um, hand felt them, as you can see Joanna doing right here. And this just gives a better tactile sense to the doors and gives you more control. And it just results in a much higher quality product. This is a great example of where we made a design decision that Unfortunately, it adds to the cost of the end product, but it results in a better product. Another thing we often get asked is, wow, your vans are expensive. And we're transparent about that, and we're clear that they are expensive. We wish so much we could make something cheaper, 
But as you've heard me say in other videos, uh, we, just, we just have made a different set of decisions. So there's gonna be an expense associated with that. Now, with that said, we do try to find, buy things in bulk. We try to have very efficient manufacturing processes. We work with Mercedes to bring the price of the van down for you. We do all sorts of things, but I mean, you know, I think it's like my grandma, like quality costs. Um, and that's what you're getting with Peace Fans. It's an extremely high quality product made as affordably as possible, but being transparent, we know it's not cheap. It's not just the quality of manufacturing and the finishings that drive you know, the price. It's also we built something that's going to last an incredibly long time. Uh, as you've heard me say other times, you know, we do expect these vans to last 10, 15, 20, 30 years even, depending on how you drive them. And what we built and what we put in them is going to stand that amount of time as well too. One of the things we get asked most often is about cutting a hole in a brand new van. And while it is nerve wracking, having done 500, uh, we know what we're doing. Um, but one of the most important things you can do in this process is actually taping off the van and protecting the van. We've definitely seen teams that don't take this step and you'll have like almost microscopic metal shavings embedded in the paint of your van that will rust out over time. And again, this is another example of you know, this process takes a couple extra hours, um, but it's super critical to the longevity and quality of the end product we deliver. One of the things I get asked all the time, Harley, what do you drive? Do you drive a van again, a Volkswagen van, or do you drive a Metris? Now, the truth is, as the owner of Peace Vans, I, I kind of technically own a lot of the vans. And I do have access to either a VW or a Metris. And I love driving them both. Like if I am in no rush at all, I'm not worried about breaking down. Um, I don't have to talk to my wife in the passenger seat and she's actually deaf in one ear. So like talking to her in a Volkswagen is like not possible. Um, and like I kind of have time to meander and can go slow. Like I, I'll take my van again. But if I want to be comfortable, I want my wife and daughter to feel super safe. Um, I want to talk to my wife and I got to cover a lot of miles and I got to do that quickly and I can't risk the romance of the Volkswagen. I will take one of the Metris vans and take that on the road trip. Now I love them both and you can't ask me to pick a favorite because that's like picking a favorite kid. But you know, sometimes you want one kid over the other for different activities and that's not picking a favorite. If you know Peace Fans and you know me, you've watched some videos or if you engage with the team or interface with the team, we care a lot about this product. We care a lot about our community. We care a lot about our team. And we care a lot about you, our customers. And we think that's one of the primary reasons you should work with us. It's not a lot of other people building these little camper vans, but there are some other teams building them. But what you get with Peace Fans is not just the highest quality product. We also get a community of other Peace Fans customers. You get a network of support around the country. Uh, you get the opportunity to work with a team that operates with the highest level of integrity and transparency and value centric. I can't tell you the number of times I've coached my team that we're, it's, it's not about the transaction. It's about the, the relationship and the connection with the people. And that's what you get when you uh, buy with Peace Fans and you partner with Peace Fans. You get a relationship for as long as you want it. If you want to plug into everything Peace Fans offers from our campsites to our network of service centers, to um, you know, the experiences that we now run, to camping with other Peace Fans customers, to the, the events we throw, dive into all that. But if you kind of just want to go off on your happy trail and just connect to us when you need support, we're there for that too.